just got off the phone with the airline. My mom's plane is landing on time. yippee ki -yay. <laughs> Tommy, thank you for lending me your car. I always dreamed that when I became a big Broadway star, I'd pick up my mom in a big black limo and drive her to the finest hotel in New York City. And it's all happening. <laughs> Except I'm not a star. It's not my limo, and she's staying in my apartment. <laughs> but I know it'll happen someday. Just ask my mom. She's my biggest fan. <laughs> Who said you could use my car? Aldo? Boss, it's your mom. Let it go. <laughs> I can't wait for Mom to meet you guys. She's just gonna love you. Um, there is just one thing. I'd really like you to try not to cuss. Mom just doesn't care for it. And that especially includes taking the Lord's name in vain. Aldo. God, I do that? <laughs> You people sure are free with your foul language. If I wanted to hear talk like that, I'd have gotten cable. Now, who should I say is calling? Mayor Giuliani. Oh, hold on now. Giuliani. J E W. Oh. Come on, Santa. I just need you to cover the freaking phone. Bite me, Aldo. I did not sleep my way up the corporate ladder so I could answer your damn phones. May I help you? I'm Kristen's mother. I don't care if you have to shove the wrinkly old out the window. A parakeet? Leo, you tell her she can take a damn parakeet and shove it... What? Say hello to Kristen's mom. You must be Tommy. Santa and Aldo. You have to forgive us. We are having a heck of a day. I promise you, everyone who works here is a good, decent person. Once again, last night, Tyreek shoots. He scores. Man, I can tell you, I was hitting it and splitting it. I was like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Tyreek, have you met Kristen's mother? But what it meant was, uh, I scored a lot of baskets for my inner city youth basketball league. <laughs> Gotta go. Here you are. I went to surprise you at the airport, but you weren't there. Well, Christy, I told you I'd take the bus in. That's just what I did. Oh, Mom. Oh, have you met everyone? Oh, yes. <laughs> I can't believe you're in New York. I know. I'm here. <laughs> oh, your hair looks great. Did you use that thing? Is that one you said with the thingy yeah, thing? Can you believe it does that thing? Yes, it used the diffuser. I love that. Oh, you're here. <laughs> Is this Hallmark moment for real? Okay, Santa, go ahead. Make your snide remarks. I can't. Well, it's actually kind of sweet. Oh. <laughs> it sounds to me like someone needs to give their mother a call. I know. <clears throat> My mommy has pretty hair, too. <laughs> My mom has the most special gift. With one look, she can see right into a person's soul. Really? All right, I'm game. Read me. All I'm getting here is a big empty. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Oh, my stars and garters. Mom, uh, this is how struggling actors start out in New York. Well, maybe I'm being a little hasty here. I haven't seen the whole apartment. Yes, you have. <laughs> Mom, it's okay. I have everything I could possibly need, including oh, a Murphy bed. <laughs> it saves a lot of space I don't have. And believe me, two people can sleep really comfortably on it. And how would you know that, dear? <laughs> oh, didn't I mention, Mom? 
I've decided to abandon all the morals you've taught me. I'm letting men use my body as a road map. <laughs> Are you telling me you've been hitting it and splitting it? <laughs> Mom! What can I say? The big apples changed me, too. <laughs> oh. You know, I can't remember the last time you and I were alone together. Oh, I do. The summer before I went away to college. Remember, I was a counselor at that Bible camp and you came to visit? Remember the talent show? Oh! <laughs> when you made me come up on stage and sing with you. Oh, what was it we did? I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he's watching me. Hey, you know any Tony Bennett? <laughs> Mr. Peters next door. If you see him in the hall, just pretend he's wearing pants. Oh. <laughs> oh, I still can't get used to it. My little girl living up in New York City all by herself. I miss home something awful, but I guess that's the price of pursuing my dream. Oh, it's important to dream. You know how your father and I have always supported that. Oh, you don't have to tell me. All those years of driving me to singing and dancing lessons, sewing my costumes, helping me with those silly beauty pageant questions. Gorbachev is coming to dinner. What would you serve? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> seems like yesterday you left home and said, Mama, I'm giving myself two years to make it. I remember. It's been two years and nine months. <laughs> uh-huh. Look, I know you don't want to hear this, honey, but your father and I have given it a lot of thought. It's time for you to come home. And furthermore, your client, Mrs. Tepperman, was already compensated for her inconvenience. And I'll make that generously compensated and say, in addition, it is outrageous for her to claim she's being forced to leave. Forced to leave. Forced to leave. It's so unfair. Oh, great. Now you're taking her side? Oh, no. No, you've been more than kind to Mrs. Tepperman, a complete gentleman. What's with the boo-hoo? <laughs> Crystal, what's the matter? Talk to me. I don't want to go back to Oklahoma. What? She says I have to go home because I'm a big, fat loser. Who called you a big, fat loser? My mom. <laughs> Kristen, you're not a loser. You got a job with us. Oh, she hates that, too. He's Tommy Pottymouth, and you're one of the three hooligans. She sure got us pegged. Oh, she's got everybody pegged. I'm never gonna make it to Broadway. Those people back home, they believed in me. They threw me a going-away party. I can't face them. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Kristen. You can either drink this water or I can throw it in your face. Your call. Drink. <laughs> Kristen. What? Your mother has to realize that you're a grown woman. I mean, you are capable of making your own decisions. But she's always right. She's the one who told me what meal to serve Gorbachev. <laughs> is that to ask a 17-year-old girl in an evening gown. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Just look at me. I send out tapes of my singing, and they're always rejected. And I just sent five songs to the cabaret room at the Hotel Royale, three ballads and two up-tempo, and I didn't even hear back. And why? Because I don't have an agent. And why don't I have an agent? Because there's no such thing as a big, fat loser agency. Kristen, what? Kristen, would you like to take a minute? No. no I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> You're going to take a minute. Okay, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 